Welcome back to Grandma's Cookbook, and this week I decided to change things up a little bit as I've done a lot of desserts the past couple of weeks and went with a main course this time. It's a very interesting recipe here, something called apple chicken bake, and you can pause it right now to take a look at the recipe if you want to do it yourself. But if you can't read cursive, I'm here to translate it for you. So here we go. This is how you make apple chicken bake. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is make the sauce for the apple chicken bake, and that consists of two cups of Lucky Leaf applesauce. And I looked to see if Lucky Leaf still exists. Apparently it does. However, my local grocer did not stock Lucky Leaf, so I just went with another major food brand of applesauce. To that, you're going to blend two teaspoons of allspice. Then to that, you will add one teaspoon salt, one tablespoon of flour, one tablespoon of catsup. Now I looked up online to see if there was a difference between ketchup and catsup. One website said, yes, there was. Another one said, there absolutely isn't. However, the grocery store made the decision for me because all they had was ketchup. Combine all those ingredients together, it's going to smell a little bit funky, but again, I'm just following the recipe. Hopefully it comes out nice after it's been in the oven. Once combined, you will add one fourth cup diced onion and one half cup diced celery. Mix that all together and then pour that into a aluminum foil lined baking dish. Now that the sauce has been taken care of, it's time to prepare our chicken. Now the recipe calls for four medium sized chicken breasts split in half. When I bought these at the grocery store, they looked like four. It turned out to be three. Please forgive me. And in the process of doing this, my brain started overthinking this too much. And how it said split in half, I felt like it just meant open these up a little bit, kind of butterfly them a little bit. And probably it just meant cut them completely in half so you end up with eight pieces. But do whatever you want. I just did it halfway in between, and it looked kind of weird. After they've been split in half, we're going to prepare the breading station, which consists of a bowl with one half cup of evaporated milk in it and a plate of one and a half cups of fine cheese cracker crumbs. So that just meant I went out, got a box of Cheez-Its, put them in a bag, smashed it with a empty kombucha bottle and put them on the plate here. And we're going to follow standard breading procedure. One hand is for the wet, one is for the dry. Coat as well as you can and then put into the baking tray. And it was at this point I realized I forgot to add one half teaspoon of paprika and one half teaspoon of salt to the breading mixture. So I just sprinkled it on top. Put that into a preheated 350 degree oven for 45 minutes or until chicken is done. Uh, halfway through, I rotated the tray 180 degrees, and I ended up adding about five minutes to the total time for my chicken to be done. And here we are, apple chicken bake. And how does it taste? Kind of bland. Um, with the celery and the onion mixed a little bit with the cracker crumb breading, it kind the sauce kind of tasted like. Uh, stuffing and it probably needed a little bit more salt than what it asked for in the recipe but here it is apple chicken bake from my grandma's cookbook you could debate the key things that maybe could have sent it over the top was actual lucky leaf applesauce in actual catsup but i'll leave that for you to try thank you all for watching and please tune in next week for another edition of Grandma's cookbook.